What's up, guys? Welcome back to AI on Crypto, your favorite place to come to for blockchain gaming, NFTs, play to earn mechanics, DeFi, everything crypto. You know the drill. Everybody, we are getting so close to 10,000 subscribers. If you're new, please subscribe and everybody tap that bell so you don't miss any videos. On your screen right now, you are seeing the homepage of Illuvium. Illuvium, in my opinion, is one of the few blue chip games in the play to earn space. It's one of the top five. Alluvium, Townstar, Mirandus, Axie Infinity, Star Atlas. To me, those are your big five right now. If you're trying to make a name for yourself in the play to earn space, if you're trying to make sure that you are in early in a way that's going to benefit you and your family long term, not financial advice, but I think those five, you got to be in at least one of them if you're in the play to earn space. And then you can go to some of those smaller, uh, higher risk, higher reward projects. But guys, Alluvium's got some big stuff on the horizon that I believe is going to give you guys a great opportunity at ground floor type stuff and have some of those life changing rewards that only come from getting in these massive projects at the earliest phases. Now we're about to watch the trailer. I'm going to save most of my opinions and research for tomorrow's video, which again will be much more in depth on Alluvium because I always get comments in the comment section saying, Oh, I'm too late for Miranda's. Oh, I'm too late for Townstar. Now those NFTs are so much money, right? Alluvium is going to have a land sale soon, guys. We're talking, remember, blue chip project, top five blockchain game. If you can get metaverse property, digital land in Alluvium, ground floor, that is an amazing opportunity. I, I'm not early on the Alluvium token. I did not buy any Alluvium token in the early stages, so I missed out on that incredible run up to where it is right now, which is around 1,500 coin. So I did not get in on the ILV token and that great staking program that they've had where a lot of people have been earning fantastic passive income. I missed all that, but I'm not going to let the fact that I missed that make me miss the two things upcoming that are going to allow me to catch up to those guys. One is the land sell that I just mentioned. The other is capturing the alluvials themselves. You see, a lot of people always complain that people with the money have the biggest advantage in all of these games. And for the most part, that has remained true. What Alluvium is offering players is kind of like a fair launch style thing with these Alluvials. The actual creatures that you capture in battle with, none of them are going to be for sale. They are all going to have to be captured in the wild, which means... It's not going to be the people with money that can buy all the best alluviums. You have to get into that gaming ecosystem. You got to go out there and catch them. That means people that might not have the Ethereum in their wallet can go into this game and off the sweat of their brow, build themselves an army of alluvials because the best alluvials and the most plentiful alluvials are going to be available during early exploration. Because they're on kind of like a graph system where they're going to have alluvials in like season one, season two. And the alluvials that are going to be available for capture when this game launches are going to be like that first, those Genesis alluvials. And eventually all of them will get captured. And at the time when the, when the uh, quantity of wild alluvials becomes too low for the player base, that's when they're going to launch that season two. So basically, guys, we're going to get into this in a lot more depth tomorrow. Right now, we're going to watch the trailer together to get excited. That way, we're all pumped up for tomorrow's video. But what I just said should make a lot of you guys who have been upset that you haven't been able to get in early, and now the NFTs are so expensive in some of these games, well, Alluvium is offering you a great opportunity with to go into the game and off the sweat of your brow get just as good of alluvials as somebody with a million dollars of Ethereum in their wallet. All right, guys, that's what I believe is so great about Alluvium. Of course, on top of the fact that it's triple A quality, has a massive treasury and a great team behind it. So without any further ado, guys, let's get into this awesome trailer that was just recently leaked.
LFG, let's go, guys. If that doesn't pump you up, then you're not a gamer, you're an investor. Because if you're a gamer, a trailer like that will send shivers down your spine like it does mine. And let me just close this video by saying this, guys. The children of yesterday are the adults of tomorrow. That is a simple statement, but there's wisdom in it. And right now, guys, the children of the 80s and 90s, the people who had these digital games in their childhood are now adults. And we are filled with a world full of adult gamers who have gone on to become successful people who have a lot of money and in their leisure time would rather invest and play a gaming ecosystem than go to the Grand Canyon, right? And this is not getting smaller, guys. This is getting bigger. The pandemic and things like that are just driving us more towards digital economies. It's not about whether you like it or you don't. It's not about whether you think it's good for mankind or it's bad. That doesn't matter. That's something I realized. What matters is what is. And what is, is that this Mirandus, Townstar, Star Atlas, other great games, Axie Infinity, Gods Unchained, Splinterlands, Fate and Arena... These are the future, right? Crypto Beast, Neroverse, there's more and more. Plant vs. Undead, the portfolio of games available to people that allow for earning is growing. Amazing games on the horizon. Echoes of Empire, The Walking Dead, Legacy. It, the list goes on and on and on. Voxverse, and more are coming, guys. But with this growing quantity, becomes confusion right because there's all these options that's why i'm only going to talk about a hand full a select few of these smaller games i'm going to keep our attention on the blue chippers because with the blue chippers you can't go wrong again not financial advice because i'm just a regular guy on the internet and this stuff is new and risky guys but this is my opinion and i hope you were entertained and I hope you are now informed. All right, guys. I never thought we would be so close to 10,000 subscribers. 
before 2021 ended, but it looks like we have a real shot at getting 10K subs before 2022. But I need each and every one of you who are new. If you like this video at all, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, tap that bell. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Tomorrow, we're going more in depth into Alluvium. Later and out.